New rumors have just emerged to confirm the possible specifications of the Galaxy Note 8. The Apple Watch Series 3 has just been rumored to include possible LTE capabilities, and do not prepare your wallets for the price tag of the essential phone in certain markets. I'm Jaime Rivera, and Juan and I have just recorded the next episode of Tech Debate. It should go live very soon. For now, this is Pocketnow Daily. The official news today have to do with nothing that has to do with deals. Actually, the complete opposite. Telus has just published the price tag of the Essential Phone in Canada. Oh my god, that thing is going to cost $1,050 if you get it out right. And if you finance the phone, you'll end up paying $2,500 over 24 months for a phone. That is just ridiculous. I'm sorry, but I just have to say it. It's a ridiculous way to finance a product, completely the opposite to what we see in certain markets like the United States lately. But again, if you're in Canada, you can learn more in the description. Hopefully, that is not going to be the case in the US. Now let's talk about Apple's HomePod. We still don't have a fixed release date, nor do we have more information than predictions. And most of these have to do with the fact that apparently Apple is not going to build very many of these. It seems that it's gonna be very scarce on its launch by the end of the year. And that apparently the company is actually not even preparing to be ready to produce more until 2018 because it seems that the company just wants to do things that way. Stay tuned, we should learn more very soon in the next batch of Apple events. As we'll the spotlight over to the Apple Watch Series 3, we hear two things. Number one, that apparently there is going to be an LTE variant to be launched and that KGI is predicting as many as 2.8 million units to be sold initially of that LT model, and that's just to complement the rest of the sales of the Apple Watch. Apparently Series 3 is not going to be the biggest seller. It seems that Series 2 is going to stick around for a little longer, which is not necessarily a bad idea. Um, let's just see what the price tag of that LT variant is going to be. And speaking of smartwatches, Evan Blass has just unveiled certain photographs of the Samsung Gear Fit Pro. Apparently that's going to be the case. I used to be a customer of the Gear Fit and the Gear Fit 2. I actually like the Gear Fit 2 a lot, but the Gear Fit 3 apparently brings capabilities for you to be able to track swimming in addition to have Spotify offline. And just for Spotify offline alone, I am completely sold on this watch. I even hope the Gear whatever product that we're going to see at IFA also brings this capability. Apparently we should learn about both of these products at IFA as well. And finally, the very hot rumors today have to do with the Samsung Galaxy Note 8. Well, we've got leaked benchmarks that pretty much confirm the specifications that we've heard. Six gigs of RAM, Snapdragon 835, Rexenos 8895, 64 gigs of storage. We don't see another variant, but that could just be the one that just got benchmarked. In addition, we hear things like the 6.4 inch display and Quad HD resolution plus because of the whole infinity display. All this is great. The only problem is we can't really figure out what the cameras are, or at least it's not really that evident on the benchmarks. But anyways, it leads me to the question today. What do you think about the specifications? Do you think the Galaxy Note 8 should be just an iterative update to the Galaxy S8 Plus? Uh, because that's pretty much what it is with the exception of the RAM. In my case, I wish we got some sort of a bump in the processor, uh, some sort of efficiency in the battery. But anyways, we should learn more on August 23rd in the impact. We would love to know your opinion in the comments down below. And friends, you know the way it goes. If you want to get the news earlier before the video is filmed, follow us on pocketnow.com and subscribe to our channel as well for more videos like this one. You can also follow me on Twitter, Jaime underscore Rivera, on Instagram at Jaime Rivera. Please give this video a thumbs up if you like what you saw. I am Jaime Rivera. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you tomorrow, 9 p.m. Eastern.